Rich, Product Manager, Developer Division at Microsoft at the WOW booth. Good afternoon, Pete, and thanks for agreeing to this interview. Hey, no problem. Glad to be here. Thanks, Pete. Uh, you're here with the IEA team. Can you explain to the listeners and subscribers of this podcast what you're here for and exactly what's going on and how can web professionals benefit? What message would you like to share with them? Yeah, there's three really great things that we're excited about with Internet Explorer 8. Just about a week and a half ago now, we shipped RC1. So this is our last release before we ship our final product. And there's three big things that developers should be excited about. One is all the new standards compliance features and the new uh, things like web slices, accelerators, and that that make developers' lives easier, more standards compliant, and much more easy to deal with. The second one is a new set of developer tools. Developer tools now ship in the box in Internet Explorer 8. You can simply hit F12 and pull up a full set of very feature-rich developer tools that allow you to debug your CSS, your HTML, your JavaScript, the DOM, all sorts of things. And finally, this is the most important one for, for your listeners, is Internet Explorer 8. We've made the most standards-compliant browser that Microsoft's ever shipped. Because it's the most standards-compliant browser that Microsoft's ever shipped, that means we've changed some behavior that may have happened in IE7 or in IE6. For most sites, that's going to mean nothing changes. But for some sites, they may depend on the old behavior. With that old behavior, things won't work like they did before. So there's a couple of easy ways that they can go about fixing that. The easiest one is just to either add a meta tag or an HTTP response header with X-UA compatible. And you can tell Internet Explorer 8 to use the IE7 rendering engine or the IE8 rendering engine. What we really strongly suggest is for people who have legacy sites or sites that they're not active working on today, just go add that XUA compatible and set it to emulate 7. That means your site's going to work, it's going to behave exactly like it did for IE7. For new sites or sites that you're actively working on, we strongly recommend that people put the emulate 8 tag on there with the XUA compatible, and that'll make sure that you're always working with the new stuff. That way, when Internet Explorer ships the next major version, all your pages are still going to work exactly like they did. So you don't have to worry about versions changing or anything like that. Good information and good to know. And all this is happening very soon, correct? Has the announcement been made in terms of a date? We haven't announced a date yet, but keep your eyes open. There's a couple of great places. Check out the IE blog at blogs.msdn.com forward slash IE. As well, there's the IE Compatibility Center. If you're looking to find out what's changed with IE, go check out the Compatibility Center at msdn.com forward slash IE Compat. Excellent information, Pete. Very important web professionals. Listen up. Thanks for your time today, Pete. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Today's minute is sponsored by the Webmaster Survival Guide. When you need professional resources, be sure to check out webmastersurvivalguide.com. There's something there for all skill levels and disciplines, and be sure to ask about advertising opportunities with this PR6 website from the World Organization of Webmasters.